Hi guys. <clears throat> hi, hi, hi. Hi guys. <laughs> My mother had that um a neighbor had taken her daughter to Sweden. And um, because I was home and I had just finished my school, my high school education, she was dying, uh, dying to take me somewhere also. And uh, she didn't want me to relocate to another country. And uh, our neighbor's daughter had gone to Sweden. So my mom went sourcing information on how, what they did. And uh, she got all the information. There was a lot of money needed. There was a visa needed. But... Uh, all that had to be done through somebody who was to assist my mom in getting the documents, the visa document, going to the embassy. First of all, getting a passport because I did not even have a passport. Um, she had to cough some money for me to be taken to um, the immigration department to source a passport. And that is what happened. So guys, I... I was very happy when my mom said that I'm going to Sweden and who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be? I was dying. I told all my girlfriends that I'm relocating and that I'm going to Sweden. Also, my mom tried her best because uh, uh, the neighbor's daughter, within one year, she had sent a lot of money home. And my mom was like uh, dying to at least... Uh, uh, See her daughter also go abroad. And guys, hey, have you ever been told about, uh, have you be, ever been told uh, news about travel? And even when you sleep in your dream, you just dream that you have traveled and you're in that country. And that was me. I was so excited that I couldn't sleep. And when I slept, I was just dreaming that I went and I arrived and I'm there and I'm holding a lot of money. I don't know whether I thought that I would go there and pick money from the streets. So arriving was the, the issue here. In my dream, I could see myself having arrived and having a lot of money. Only to wake up the following morning and I find that I'm still in Kenya. <laughs> and guys, it was not a uh, uh, walk in the path getting the documents, especially the visa. Uh, but uh, I got I got the visa after getting the passport I got the visa but guys on getting the visa the problem was now raising money for for the air ticket and what was I going to do in Sweden I was supposed to go and study and work at the same time so guys my mom almost killed herself trying to raise that this money for 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 the uh, air ticket. It was not easy. And I was also very hard on my mom because I was singing to her like a song, especially when the days went and uh, I was left with only two weeks and my mom had not even, uh, I mean, uh, managed to raise the money. I was on her case. Instead of um, maybe encouraging her and uh, praying that, uh, okay, mom, you'll make it. I kept on putting pressure on her and my mom had ulcers. My mom had high, high blood pressure. My mom had diabetes. And here I am putting on a lot of pressure on her. And guys, you know what? A week before the date of my travel, my mom fell sick. And uh, very sick. She was hospitalized in the village hospital. And even got worse. And uh, three days before my flight, there was no money that was raised and even any money that would have been uh, available would have been money for treatment. Can you imagine guys that is why I'm doing this this video. Can you imagine how selfish one can become. Your mom is very sick, hospitalized and there you are talking with your, uh, your, your uh, siblings and my uncles because my uncles are the ones that were dealing with the case when my mom was, was uh, was sick uh, I'm not mentioning my dad notice that I'm not mentioning him for many reasons so it was only us my mom 
and the uncles and now my siblings guys i was so selfish that i was even telling my uncles to try and do a harambe and raise the money so that i can leave and go to sweden and that time that i was saying that my mom was not even talking she had reached a point of um, like she's in a coma but still my mind was in going to sweden to a point that i did not care whether um my mom will will uh, will uh, rise from that hospital bed and go and and look for for money for me i just wanted to go i just wanted to go guys let me tell you selfish selfishness <laughs> that word is very heavy for me it's very heavy for my tongue being selfish is a very bad disease because guys how how dare you even if that money was there even if my mom had raised it before she fell sick would i surely have left the country when she's hospitalized and gone and in a serious condition you know you can be hospitalized but you are okay or you are better but she was in a very bad shape and i was still insisting that i want to go i want to go i want to go so guys three days before the the the, the flight i did not have the money and uh the, my mom was worse my uncle came to see me and um, said uh, now you have to call off your trip because the situation at hand is very bad is very bad and uh, you cannot travel i did not want to understand i locked myself in my room i cried my heart out the whole the whole day and uh the following day which is now two days before the, the, the uh, leaving the country, I still locked myself in there. I refused to go and visit my mom in hospital. I cried. When a, an auntie came to speak to me, I told her how much they hate me, that they refused to contribute for my fright that I go. And they were like, are you going and leaving your mom very sick like this? How about if you just left the country and you hear bad things have happened to her? Would you be comfortable? When we are burying her, when you are away. Because you can always change your, 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 your uh, uh, ticket. But you cannot leave a sick mom who has killed herself for you. And go and uh, go to another country. So guys, I did not come to my senses. And uh, the day came. I did not travel. But I lived a very bitter girl. Fortunately, my mom got home. And uh, she got to understand that I was very bitter. I was telling every relative to contribute money for me that I go and leave her sick. And guys, my mom did not believe her ears. She told me that she has always killed herself for me. But she has known that I cannot kill myself for her. And I did not understand. But guys, age will always teach you ways of life. When I later um, uh, grew up, I realized that uh, uh, there are some things in life that happen. And uh, it's like they happen for God to test what kind of a heart you, you have. And I became wiser. Because uh, I later realized that the grievous mistake that I would have made if I... If I ever traveled and left that lady sick like that and um it is this time that i i uh, was in church and uh, a pastor uh, came to our meeting and spoke to us about the importance of family and how blessed we are to have the, the people that we have in our lives especially uh, parents and i got to cry my heart out when i remembered how inhuman i was then just because of something that i would have cancelled and uh maybe um uh, uh, planned to, to, to uh, my trip for next for the next time i i repented and i went and said sorry to my mom and then after that guys doors opened for me doors will close until you come to your senses guys this video was to tell you that doors will close until you come to your senses it is not until the time I came to my senses that my doors now opened and I was able to travel. So guys, always wait upon God. God's time is the best. Do not ever rush issues. If something does not happen, leave it at that. It was not 
uh, to happen that particular time. Leave it at that and wait upon God. Guys, like and subscribe to this channel. This is Never H T V. And guys, we are great. We are going to subscribe. So please, before you move on, just hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.